Good morning guys, happy Monday, and welcome to this week in my life. My name is Emily, I'm a pre-medicine student at Carleton College. I am a junior, I am a bio major, and Spanish and dance minor, and I film my life and share it on the internet, so welcome. Um, every day I do a quote of the day. Today's quote of the day is, smart people learn from everything and everyone. Average people learn from experiences, and stupid people already have all the answers by Socrates. All right, guys, I thought I'd give you an outfit of the day today. So these jeans are American Eagle. I'm wearing my Doc Martens. And then this sweater that I thrifted yesterday, I think it's so cute. It kind of is like giving Halloween vibes, but I just love, like, I love a striped sweater. <laughs> and then these um, hoop earrings. That's the fit. Super simple for this rainy, gloomy day. It's like so gloomy outside, guys. It's crazy. I am working on, I'm starting the biochem problem set for this week. This week is gonna be a journey. This week is gonna be a long journey. I have so much to do, but it's okay. Let's get into it. My hair kind of looks cute right now. Anyways. Anyways. Um, I'm back in my room. I just showered and I'm eating my leftovers from yesterday, which is such a blessing because I just do not feel like going to the dining hall today. I'm feeling pretty low energy today. Um, and that's okay, but I do have some work to get done after this. I'm just having a little break after rehearsal. Mm. I'm gonna eat. I have my noodles and I stole a piece of tofu from the dining hall today to add some protein. And um, yeah, I'm just so happy to have this little moment to chill. And then we're gonna go to Liber and grind for like two hours. Then we're gonna come back and go to bed. So yeah, pretty chill day. Nothing crazy. Just not feeling super enthusiastic like I normally am, but you know what happens. Anyways, let's eat. All right, I needed some motivation to get myself to library, so I made some boba. That is delicious. exactly what I needed. Tuesday. Um, I'm feeling pretty good this morning. I hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Today's quote of the day is, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving by Albert, I, Albert Einstein. I'm going to do a little homework and then at the gym today, I'm going to run. So 
yeah, it's pretty classic standard morning this morning. Good morning guys and happy uh, Wednesday. It is March 1st. I literally, I cannot believe that. Like, it's shocking. But anyways, um, today's quote of the day is, you define your own, you define your own life. Don't let other people write your script from Oprah Winfrey. I love this quote because I think it can apply to like any area of your life. And I just, I don't know, lately I've just found it so important to like really think about who I am and what do I want to do and I think in this age of social media and vlogging and YouTube and um, TikTok and, and Instagram it's so easy to like have this idea of like well I don't see anybody else doing these things like I should be doing what these people are doing but it's just so not true like these vlogs are meant to inspire you not to be like this is how you should be a pre-med at Carleton College, specific, like, you know, um, and in any area of your life, like, for me, I think about working out, like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm sure that they exist, but I don't know anyone else who does ballet and runs and strength trains. It's like a weird combination of things, and like, they don't necessarily go together, but I enjoy doing them all, and so I'm gonna do them all, even though I don't like have an example of someone else doing them and even though someone might tell me like my ballet prof told me she was like you should really like not run and use the elliptical because running isn't like good for ballet and I'm like okay that's fair but like I love to run so I'm gonna make it work um I can't really think of another example right now but like or like you know maybe you you feel like you have to do an internship this summer but like there's a really cool job that you'd rather do or you'd rather um you know plan a crazy you'd rather work part of the summer in an ice cream job and plan a crazy mountain hiking adventure with your siblings like do it like do the things that you feel called to do the things that you feel good do the things that like your heart sets your heart on fire like at the end of the day the most important thing is that you're happy and you're doing what you want to do and like I think a lot of people are like oh like for law school or medical school or grad school interviews like I have to have this crazy list of things I'm doing and like obviously it's true like to some extent like you want to have a cover letter you want to have a resume built up but like I just think like it's just so much more important to like do the things you love and I think that when you're interviewing and they ask you about you know how did you spend the summer if you're like oh I did this internship or, like it was only three months so we didn't really get anything done and in the lab and blah 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 like if you're interested in that go for it but if you're not wouldn't it be so much cooler to be like oh my god I, I you know I worked and I made money and I planned this awesome trip like this is just an example and I'm not saying that like internships are bad internships are awesome but like just do what you want to do you know follow your heart don't let other people tell you what you should do or write your script for you because it's your life it's your story it's not anybody else's and yeah, sorry not to get all preachy. It's literally 6 a.m. right now, but I'm gonna edit a little bit and then we're gonna do some human physiology reading and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'm feeling good. I got a full eight hours. I'm feeling high energy. Life is good. Hi guys, just thought I'd do a check-in. I forgot to vlog earlier. Well, I was just really like occupied, but I was just, um, okay, hi guys, check-in. I was, um, 
I'm so caffeinated. I had classes this morning and then I went and sat in Anderson. I got a coffee and then I went to office hours. I meant to vlog a little like after lunch, but I just forgot. So it's just been a normal day. I'm headed to office hours was really good though. I was the only one that showed up, um, which was awesome. I love office hours. Um, so yeah, I'm now going to go to dance, but I just thought I'd do a really quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing these um, tights. I don't know where these are from, but like they're just black tights with my Doc Martens. And then this dress, I really, I thought I didn't like this dress, but now that I look at it, I actually really like it. I think it's cute. Um, this dress is from um, Marshalls, I believe. And yeah, that's just the outfit today. Super simple. I'm wearing this headband that my mom made me. But yeah, I'm going to change now for dance. Good morning guys, it's night of the week Thursday. I'm tired, we persist, got a lot to do today. Um, today's quote of the day is, you can't understand the most, you can't understand the most important things from a distance, you have to get close, by Brian Stevenson. My mom sent me this quote and I thought it was cool. Um, I'm so, I'm tired guys, like I am having a rough time this week, but it's okay. I feel like I didn't vlog much yesterday. I just like am starting to get to the point where I'm like stressed and so I'm just not thinking about things <laughs> besides school. So I'm gonna try and make a better effort to vlog today, but welcome, it's Thursday. I am, I'm feeling not the best, but it's okay, we've got this. Okay, I thought I would share a tip with you guys um, that helps me especially when I'm feeling like how I did in the last clip like when I wake up and I'm just like oh my god like I have so much to do I'm stressed Thursdays tend to be like that like if you follow the vlogs like I tend to be really stressed not really stressed but like particularly stressed on Thursdays because it's like my problem sets are due on Fridays and I just I like to go into the weekend like feeling on top of things um but I, I really am, I'm feeling pretty good now. And my, my trick is that I always, I do not allow myself to start the morning with homework. Like even if I have a lot to do, like a crazy amount to do, I'll spend at least 10 minutes editing a video because it just like, using the creative side of my brain makes me so happy and like gets me, helps me wake up, helps me kind of feel like I'm going into the day in like a happy way. So my tip is just like, it doesn't have to be editing a vlog if you guys aren't into that, but like it could be reading a book, it could be like working on, I don't know, a picture you've been drawing, it could be like knitting and listening to some music, like genuinely starting the day with something that like makes me genuinely happy, like is just makes you feel so good. And it doesn't have to be like, if you don't want to read a self-help book, don't find something that that you like wake up and look forward to. Like for me, my coffee right now, like I'm just like smelling the aromas and it's so warm and I'm like editing my video and it just it feels so good and I do this every morning and so it's just like so awesome to like have something that you really look forward to in the morning so find your thing and do it and you know don't allow yourself to wake up and start being productive right away because you it's just I just I don't know I just think it's it's not very good for your mental health to do that but anyway I'm gonna edit a little more and then I'm gonna do some Spanish reading, but I'm feeling like it's literally been 10 minutes and I'm feeling way better than when I started this vlog, so yeah. Hey guys, okay, I have not vlogged yet. Wow, I think I forgot to put on my, my face drops yesterday. My face looks really pale. Anyways, um, hello, it is Thursday. I don't think I've vlogged since this morning, but I did a good back and buys workout this morning. I was really tired, but now I'm like feeling much more energetic. Um, then I had class and then I had, I just had lab and it's very, it was very successful. Um, we're using CRISPR and all the fun things and it's going well. So I thought I'd give you an offer of the day and then we're gonna go to the library for the whole afternoon because I have to do my biochem problem set. It's done but I always rewrite it, so I have to do that, and it takes me a really long time, but I'm feeling I'm feeling good and like ready to grind, so that's good. Um, but I thought I'd show you my outfit. I'm gonna change into sweatpants for the library because like, I don't know, 
I just feel like it's against my morals to wear jeans to the library. Um, but I'm wearing this shirt that I just thrifted. I think it's so cute. It says the Village Juicery. I don't know if it's like a brand or what, but I just, I love Juicy Couture. And so it made me, it reminded me of Juicy Couture. And then these jeans that I just thrifted that I absolutely love. They, um, can you see the, <laughs> the inside is like this uh, flannel material. So like they're really, really comfortable. Um, and like the whole inside is like that, so they're like very warm. And I wish I had these earlier in the winter, um, but I'm definitely gonna wear these all the time next winter because it's just nice to have like a mom jean that doesn't have holes for like those negative, negative days. Um, and then under this shirt, I'm wearing this white turtleneck that I, I'm pretty sure I bought this at Walmart <laughs> like a long time ago. And then I'm wearing my hoop earrings and yeah, that's the Oh, I'm wearing my Stan Smiths. Um, these Stan Smiths, I actually, this is like a fully thrifted outfit almost. I found these on the side of the road in Brooklyn, New York in 2017. They were like by a trash bin and I was walking through and I took them. So fun fact about those shoes, but yeah, that's, that's the outfit. <laughs> okay, I wanted to also show you guys my new jacket. Is it not the cutest thing literally ever? And it has this like cool, um, like elasticness. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So when you zip it up, it's like kind of cropped and like bunches up. I think it's just the cutest jacket ever. It feels very vintage and I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna put on some sweatpants and we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the library. <laughs> the vlog clip that never ends. I was gonna show you guys, I got a package and it's from a brand that, um, they contacted me and asked if they could send me um, their product and I could try it and then if I like it, then we can like start a partnership. And I think that when brands approach partnerships like that, you know it's a good brand because like they're sending me this for free but like they want me to actually try it and enjoy it before becoming a partner and if I don't like it, then I won't become a partner but I just think it's, it's nice to be able to be authentic and like actually enjoy the product that you're you know, like being sponsored by, so I just thought that was cool. Um, oh my gosh! I'm so excited to try this. I got the citrus berry flavor. No way. Wait. Is this a... Oh my god, I feel like I'm an influencer. <laughs> uh, is this... No! <gasps> oh! I literally, okay, the frother you guys see me use all the time, I don't, it's like my coffee frother and I don't really like to use it for other things. I, but they sent me a frother. That's so exciting. Oh, it doesn't have batteries in it. That's okay though, that's okay. It's still awesome. Wow, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Natural Super Greens. Um, I'm so excited to try your product. I wonder if they left like a little written thing or something. Oh my gosh. Not the handwritten note. Okay, I'm gonna read it to you guys. It says, hey Emily, thanks so much for trying Natural Super Greens. We're a family owned business and we take great pride in our products and doing good in our community. If you love our product, please share them with a friend and we can't wait to see the content. Okay. I'm so excited, should we try it now? Let's just try it now. Why not? All right, guys. Here we go. Let's try. Oh. Oh. Cheers. It tastes so good. Oh my God. This is just so exciting. Guys, this is like really exciting because I've tried quite a few other like greens products and like a lot of them just have such a gross taste that like I really kind of dread, dread um, trying it or they don't blend well into water. Like they don't like um, go into solution well in water so it's like chunky. This is literally perfect. The ingredients are so good. It's got probiotics. Wow. Okay, I want to show you guys the ingredients on this. 
Cause there's like nothing, there's nothing crazy. I'm like so, I'm like so excited and honored that they decided to like send me this. Thank you so much. Um, I will be featuring this in the vlog. It tastes so good. This is citrus berry. It has a nice like, almost like, like it's a little sour, but it's not like sour and like a gross like greens powder tasting. It's like sour in like a citrusy lemonade way. Mmm. Wow. It's gluten free, vegan friendly, no preservatives, no sugar added, made in the USA. Mmm. Mm hmm. Alright, I don't want to make the segment too long, but that was delicious. Thank you so much, Natural Super Greens. I will link this down below. And yeah, let's, let's continue on with the day. introduce you guys to the OG ballet studio. <laughs> I have like a flap on my vest. This is the studio where ballet classes are held at Carlton and I'm a bit surprised to see people commenting on my vlogs like, oh I was wondering if Carlton had like dance facilities. We do, we have a lot of them. Um, so here's one of them, it's this beautiful ballet room. I love it. Um, it's got Marley floors and tonight I'm spending an hour working on my solo. And then um, my friend Claudia and I are spending the next hour working on our duet. And I think I might go out tonight um, with my friend Vanessa. Like nothing crazy, just to, there's like college night at Carboni's because um, I finished my biochem problem set and like, I don't know, I just feel like it could be fun. I also haven't gotten to spend much time with Vanessa lately, so it'd be like a fun little girly date. Um, but updates to come. For now, we're trying to focus on dancing. I'm not gonna lie, I ate a huge dinner right before this. Like, I had pasta, beans and rice, pizza, tofu, um, what else did I have? Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and like a side salad. So, my stomach is full, um, but dancing still feels good. I'm trying to not do anything like too vigorous because I'm not trying to barf, but like, so I need to practice my piece. Yeah, what else can I update you on? I feel like this vlog hasn't been super interesting, to be honest, because my week hasn't been particularly interesting. Like, it's just been like classes, lab work, and problem set. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are still enjoying. Next week's vlog will be a lot of studying because this weekend I'm starting the process of studying for my um, for my human physiology final, as well as working on my final essay for my Spanish class, so things are like starting to wrap up, which is why I'm like, should I be social tonight? Like I do have a lot to do, but I also know that next week I will not be being social. So it's kind of like, hmm, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What else can I update you guys on? I don't really have anything interesting. I got like 20 more minutes in here and then I'm going to dance with Claudia, so. Let's do some point work, baby. Next term, my ballet prof has offered to do point classes and I'm so excited about it. Also, these are so dead, um, but I should have new ones coming in soon, I hope. But yeah, let's dance. This is, this is Clural and Early, March 2nd, the Clural and Early Dance Show. And actually, <laughs> do you want, do you want um, this? Good morning guys, happy Friday. Today's quote of the day is, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Um, I decided to make today my rest day. I think I could have done a workout, but I just feel like it would be rushed. Class starts earlier today and I don't know, it just felt right to have a rest day and then I'm gonna work out the next two days. So yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm gonna go skiing today, which is nice, it probably, well, I, I'll probably try and ski one more time before the end of the term, so this is my second to last ski 
skiing, but, and then I'm going to my friend's orchestra concert tonight. It's gonna be a chill day. And then Saturday, I'm gonna go hang out with my friend Talia, and I am gonna try and vlog some with us. So that's, I'm always looking forward to see her. She's such a, um, she's just such a special person in my life, so that's fun. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to those few things this weekend. But for now, sipping my coffee and working on my biochem peer review, so. Mm -mm -mm. We made it! I lost my friends. I am gonna do a couple black runs on my own, but I'm having so much fun. I'm so glad I came today. It's such a pretty day. It's so warm. Good morning, guys. Today's quote of the day is, when you have a dream, you've got to grab it and never let go. I love it. Also, I really am thinking about getting bangs and I'm so torn, so we'll see. By the end of this vlog, I might have bangs. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I need to think about it, but. All right, guys. I've done almost no nothing productive today, but we're gonna go to dance rehearsal. So I will see you in two hours after dance. I had to do a lot of thinking to decide if I want bangs. I decided I don't think I'm gonna do them. But, you know, I had to, I had to have a moment there. And I also had to, I've, I've been looking at flights to visit my friend and I think I finally found the one I'm gonna get. So it was productive, but just not in a academic way. Anyways, let's go dance. All right guys, just got back from dance rehearsal. I'm so sweaty and tired and we're gonna fold my laundry. A productive Saturday, if you will. Alright you guys, we are headed out for dinner with Bestie and I thought I'd give you a little outfit of the day. These pants keep getting more and more ripped. American Eagle, I've emailed you like five times, please get back to me. Um, anyways, here's the outfit. I think it's pretty cute. I have this purse that I just thrifted. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's super cute. What a sleigh. And then I have these jeans that are American Eagle. I'm wearing my Doc Martens. And then I have this shirt that I got from Forever 21. And then I have this blazer over it. I hope it's not like too much skin. I feel like it's fine though. With the blazer, I can kind of like button it up if I'm feeling like it, but yeah, that's the fit. We're gonna hit the road. We're going to go get Italian food and then we're gonna dye Talia's hair, which I'm gonna try and vlog. She said that she would let me vlog. And I'm also gonna do my nails while she's doing her hair. So like we have a little girly moment together, but yeah, let's hit the road because I'm running late. We have Brussels sprouts and an espresso martini for me. <laughs> quote of the day is there is always light if only we're brave enough to see it if only we're brave enough to be it from Amanda Gorman also guys yesterday I put on nails and I'm so happy I did 
I love stick on nails. I think it just gives me confidence and I'm excited to have these this week. We've got a busy day today, um, but I'm gonna start with some coffee. Guys, CPR class is done. It was really good. Um, I also learned how to do baseline testing for a concussion, so that was cool. Um, I'm really sad because I just got invited to a bachelorette party for my, like, my when I used to compete in the Miss America program, my miss, um, she is getting married. And I would literally die to go to that bachelorette party, but I'm gonna be in school, so that's a bummer. But anyways. I have some fruit left over from lunch. We're gonna go to Target, and then we're gonna go to the library for like the rest of the day, because I have so much to do. And I also just got five out of eight on my human phys quiz, so I have to redo it, which sucks. But anyways, first to Target. understand why men are the way they are like I'm putting my stuff in my car in the parking lot and this guy who by the way I noticed him in the store and I was like this man looks so stupid he's wearing like these tight 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 ass joggers and like this super tight top like clearly trying to like show off his muscles which like okay maybe I'm I shouldn't be one to judge because like if you feel good wearing that then whatever but I just like was like <sighs> when I saw him and then he pulls up to me in the parking lot he's like what's your name and I was like, sorry, I'm not interested. And he was like, what? What's your name? And I was like, sorry, I'm not interested. Like, I don't know. I'm just not interested in the type of man who's like, I'm putting my stuff in my car and you're going to pull up in your car and ask me my name. Like, it was, oh, I hate when that kind of thing happens. Anyways, remember, ladies, you don't have to be nice to men. You don't have to answer their questions. You can just say I'm not interested and move on with your day. Anyways, let's go back to campus. I just spent way too much money at Target. Okay guys, I thought I'd do a little Target haul. I just got some like essentials that I've run out of and a few more fun things for finals. So I thought I would show you guys everything I got. I got three candles and carrying the bags up here was such a workout that like I literally was sweating. So I had to take off my jacket. But it's such a good snack and that's all I have to say. One body lotion and Cetaphil face lotion because I literally lather myself in these every single day. Oh. So yeah, got those. I'm getting three candles because I don't know, I just love candles and it's like the one thing that I really don't need but I will spend my money on. So I got this citrus white oak one in vanilla. It has like a nice vanilla bean sweet smell to it. This lavender eucalyptus one. Like I, I've seen that you can put boiling water in and then get the, the insides out and then you can use the jar for like like, I don't know, you could use it as a cookie jar, you could put like Q-tips or cotton rounds in them. So I definitely save these and try and reuse them, repurpose them. Um, we got these Expo markers for studying for human fizz, which I'm hopefully gonna start today at the live. I like to like chart everything out and draw with different colors. So this was kind of like a treat for myself for finals. Got some blueberry yogurt, it's like my favorite snack. To take to the library. And nails for France, just so I'm ready. I got these press-on nails, these are the same ones I have on right now, I just love them. Um, and then I got some clear mascara, cause I'm gonna try and do my brows in a new way, um, using clear mascara. And then I got a like liquid like felt tip eyeliner and a pencil eyeliner so that I can do like a, a water line with the pencil and like a felt tip on top. So that's exciting. These are, I'm really saving for friends. I saw this TikTok of this girl trimming her hair and I realized that I just don't need to spend, like I looked at hair salons in Northfield and then I looked at some in like Minnetonka and they're like for a haircut, it's like 50 or $60, which like I just cannot afford. So I got some, um, these were $12 these shears and hopefully I can just like I'm gonna section my hair into two sides and then just like do a trim on the end I'll definitely vlog it but hopefully I'll have the time to do that tonight because 
I do want my hair to be like trimmed and fresh for spring break. Um, I got some bobby pins and some hair ties. I got some gum for finals. I got these sour strips as a treat for finals. And also I kind of want to take these to the gym and have some because I always see like the gym girls on TikTok eating these. So I don't know, I thought I'd try it. Coffee creamer to cream my coffee. I got a polar ice gum because I, well, I wanted to get one of these big packs of polar ice, but they didn't have it. So I just got this one. And then last but not least, is this the last thing? Oh no, it's not the last thing. I got this fruit blend for some smoothies. My favorite coffee as of late, this is Cafe Bustello. Yeah, that's everything I got. I'm gonna put this all away and then work on my biochem project and then we're gonna go to the library. So that's what's happening. All right guys, so I'm right now I'm working on finishing my biochem final project and I wish I had time for this better, but I need to do a talking clip for it. And I think I'm just gonna try and do it today, but I might put on a little makeup just so, I don't know, I just don't really wanna look bad. <laughs> Even though it's just, it's like so silly cause it's just, it doesn't matter. But I think I might try and finish it, do a little makeup, film it, and then go to the library and edit it and try and like get that done because it's just been on my shoulders and I really just wanna turn it in and like move on with the rest of the stuff I have to do. So that's what we're working on right now. I have like a really good outline. I have two more amino acids to do some research on and then I will be ready to film. So let's um, let's get into it. Also guys, look at all my new markers. This is incentivizing me to go to the library and start human fits. And also I'm excited about these because I asked my mom for my birthday to get me a big whiteboard for this summer for when I'm doing MCAT studying. So I'm gonna take these all home and it's just, it's crazy how much something so simple like this can like make studying so much more fun. So yeah, like I have pink, I have two shades of green, two shades of blue, a purple, like I'm so excited about this. Anyways, gotta finish this task first. Guys, quick intermission from my work to say that while I've been doing these like drawings for this project, I've been listening to this podcast called The Psychology of Your 20s. Specifically, I've been re listening to the Healing Your Inner Child episode. I will link it down below. It is, it is such a wonderful episode and I think she just explains things so eloquently and so like kindly and like gives suggestions in such an awesome way. So I will link it down below. 